Hi, I'm Natasha Pellick, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Clean Air Act and the possibility of the abolition of such. You know, before January 20th, the Bush administration is actually trying to abolish all the rules that go along with the Clean Air Act. And you might wonder, well, you know, who cares? Well, you might imagine a world where children are outside running freely, chasing butterflies and climbing trees. And then you think, ooh, maybe those children are having asthma attacks. Well, that might be the case, because it is the truth. There's millions of asthma attacks a year. Also, there's 60,000 respiratory-related deaths caused by a mutation in our genes that are caused by these pollutants that are put into the air from these coal-burning plants. Huh? Who knew? It's terrible, but you know, it's true, and we can actually prevent it. We are the people. Allow your voice to be heard. Visit EPA's website, find out more information, and also go to NRDC's website. That is the National Resource Defense Council. Find out who you could talk to and get in there. Talk to your coal plant people. <laughs> Tell them to get the scrubbers on. Let's get this thing done. We got to have a party here, and we, we don't need to be having asthma attacks on along the way. Because you know what? Your kids are missing school because of these asthma-related problems, and we can't allow this to be true anymore. All right? So Clean Air Act is good. Let's keep it going, right? Thanks.